Dennis, come here. Dennis, you have no business using the air from my tire to fill your balloon. I just borrowed it, Dad. When I'm through with the balloons, I'll put it back. <laughs> from the Wilsons. Oh, what do they have to say? Having the greatest trip of our lives. We'll tell you all about it when we return on Saturday. That's today. Our best to both of you and little Dennis. Well, he really must be in good spirits. I'm afraid things will cool down when he finds out what Dennis did while he was away. I'm home! Don't slam it! There's the fastest slam in the West. Just ride, God, Mom! Well, you've got a dirty face for one thing. What else? A surprise for you. Close your eyes. You too, Dad. I'll be right back. I wonder what it can be. Oh, it's probably a flower I picked up from someplace. <laughs> I hope he didn't get it out of the Wilson's card. <laughs> One thing I can count on. It'll have a broken stem. Well, you can always throw it away. Not on your life. Close your eyes. Don't open them till I tell you. All okay. right. What's he, your lookout? Uh, I think I'll go straighten out my room. Uh, just a minute, young man. It's for Mom, Dad. She's been trying to get me to do it all day. Dennis, you have to tell Mr. Wilson sooner or later, and you might as well do it right now. Can we call him on the phone? Come on, Dennis. <laughs>
trying to carry too much, George. You huh? strain yourself. Oh, nonsense, Martha. These two weeks have rejuvenated me. Why, I feel like a new man. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Wilson. Welcome home. Oh, Mitchell, Dennis, come on over. I'll tell you all about our trip. OK. Come on, Dennis. Now, George, you be nice to little Dennis. Why, of course I will. I told you, Martha, I'm a new man. <laughs> well, here we are, home at last. <laughs> you know how easily Mr. Wilson gets upset. I don't want you to say or do anything that'll bother him. Then I don't have to tell him what I did? Yes, you do. Only don't upset him with anything new. <laughs> Hello, Henry. How are you? Fine, thank you, Mrs. Wilson. How are you? I'm fine, too. Hey, Mr. Wilson, you're wearing a Smokey the Bear hat, aren't you? <laughs> Smokey the Bear. <laughs> oh, Dennis, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too, Mr. Wilson. I've missed you. <clears throat> Dennis has something to tell you, Mr. Wilson. Oh? Uh, go ahead, Dennis. Well, the day after you left on your trip, there was this swell little kid that was playing baseball. A swell little kid named Dennis. Uh-huh. I hit a home run. <laughs> Wonderful. Right through your kitchen window. Oh? Oh, well, I, boys will be boys. I, after all, what's a broken window? Well, that isn't all, Mr. Wilson. Go ahead, Dennis. Well... The bowl sort of bounced across the kitchen and turned on the water faucet. <laughs> oh, so we lost a little water down the drain. I mean, boys will You didn't lose it down the drain, Mr. Wilson. Uh, the baseball ended up in the sink, acting as a drain plug. So you lost all your water on the floor. Oh, my goodness. I looked into the window and saw what was happening, so I called Mom and Dad. Uh, uh, how could you look in the window? I climbed up on your trellis. Dad's already fixed it. Oh? Oh, then what happened? Well, Alice and I came over and cleaned up the mess. It didn't hurt anything. Oh, thank you, Henry. Of course, I had to jimmy the back door open to get in. Oh, you did? Boy, was that door a mess. Of course, I fixed it later, and the window, too. Well, well then everything's all right. <laughs> I guess boys will be boys. Well... That's not quite all, Mr. Wilson. Oh? Uh -huh. Yesterday, Dennis played baseball again. A home run. I'm a regular Willie Mays. <laughs> the same window. Oh, my lands. But it didn't hit the water faucet. Uh, I'll pay for the window, of course. <laughs> what are we laughing about, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> Oh, that's a very funny story. <laughs> I'm happy you can see it that way, Mr. Wilson. Oh, Mitchell, you know, I've been an old grouch in the past, but that's all over. From now on, Dennis and I are going to be good friends. Really, Mr. Wilson? Sure. Do you want to take me to the circus? It's going to be right over in the park. Dennis. Well, by golly, I just might do that. Wow, that would be swell. Mr. Wilson, I hope you don't mind my commenting, but you're a changed man. <laughs> I really think he is, Henry. Well, I know I am. I mean, how could I be otherwise? I've been communing with nature. I've slept beside a babbling brook under the stars. I've listened to nature's creatures calling to me in the night. Did Mrs. Wilson want a drink of water? <laughs> Mrs. Wilson? Uh, no, I, Dennis, I was referring to the animals and the birds. <laughs> One night, I heard an owl hooting. Uh, uh. Boy, you sure sound like one. Do it again. All righty. Uh, uh. And at that moment, all the primitive instincts of my ancestors came back to me. Oh, what did you do? Well, I slipped quietly out of my sleeping bag, picked up my flashlight, and went looking for him. Boy, you're just like Daniel Boone, Mr. Wilson. Did you find him? Uh, well, no. <laughs> Martha, no, that wasn't funny. Oh, yes, it was. He was walking along, shining his light up into the trees, and he walked right into the brook. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you didn't want to leave a trail, huh, Mr. Wilson? <laughs> Dennis, you're a good friend. <laughs> you know you ought to go camping sometime. Boy, that would be swell. <laughs> Can I help you bring in the rest of your gear? Well, sure. Come on. <laughs>
Dennis, I don't have a tent. Oh, don't be a killjoy, Mitchell. He could borrow our camping equipment. Wow! Well, that's very generous of you. Say, can I get Tommy to sleep out with me? Well, you can go ask his mother. <laughs> I'll envy you, Dennis, being out there under the stars. You know, Mitchell, that's the only trouble, being home. I'll miss the sound of the wild creatures calling in the night. Can I wear you Spooky the Bear hat, Mr. Wilson? Why, of course you can, Dennis. <laughs> now I'm gonna go see if Tommy can come. Ah, uh, he's a wonderful kid. <laughs> oh, you see this, Mitchell? My nerve medicine. I didn't use a drop of it during our trip. And you've been home five minutes and you need some. <laughs> no, not at all. As a matter of fact, I never expect to need it again. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Wilson. I hope you won't be sorry you did that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wilson's letting Dennis use the whole business. Sleeping bags, air mattresses, the tent. I can't get over it. Two weeks of camping have changed that man completely. <clears throat> Hello? <clears throat> oh, hi, Ted. Uh, Henry. I was wondering if you and Alice would like to come over tonight. We'll, um, uh, play a little bridge. You sure you want to play bridge? You got another one of those crazy sound effect records you want to show off? Well, we might play a little bridge. <laughs> Henry, wait till you hear this one. It's the greatest. It's a train wreck from the actual soundtrack of a motion picture. Boy, you've never heard anything so realistic. Well, how about it? Can you come over? Well, I don't think we'd better tonight, Ted. Uh, uh, Dennis is sleeping out in the backyard, and we've got to keep an eye on him. Well, look, you could watch him just as easily from over here as you can from there. Uh, look right over the fence. Well, I suppose we could keep an eye on him just as easily over there. Any objections, honey? No, I guess not. Okay. Fine, Ted. About 8 o'clock? And, and, Ted, I do want to play some bridge tonight. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So do I. Last Saturday evening, we did nothing but listen to that crazy wild animal record of his. Oh, don't blame him, honey. He's only had that high by a couple of weeks. I'm home! In here, Dennis. <laughs> Tommy can camp out with me. We'll be here in a few minutes. Good. <laughs> you better take that hat off so you can see where you're going, young man. It's too big for you. No, it isn't. It's perfect. Tommy wishes he had one. Let me put a little paper in it and try it. I don't need it. Well, just try it, huh? There. Isn't that better? Yeah! <laughs> hey, Mom, how come you haven't put up the reindeer? Oh, that isn't a reindeer, Dennis. It's a moose. And I have a wonderful idea of where to put it. Where? Why don't we put it out in the backyard, and then you can pretend you're right out in the wilderness tonight. Wow! And the tent can be your teepee. You mean like we're Indians? Like real Indian braves. You know what she is, Dad? She's the best squaw in the whole world. <laughs> she is on my totem pole, too. Well, here I am. What do you got blankets for? We got sleeping bags. I know it, but my mom's afraid I'll catch cold. I even got to wear my underwear under my pajamas. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad my mom isn't like that. What are those for? For you. I don't want you to catch cold. Oh, Mom! Hun, do you know where the hot water bottle is? Holy baloney! Sheer ambrosia. I most certainly did, Dennis. Do it again, Mr. Wilson. All right. Dennis, that'll be enough knocking. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wilson, how are you? Oh, I'm sorry, Mitchell. Sheer animal spirits. It's quite all right. Come on in. Oh, no, thanks. I just dropped by to tell Dennis the good news. Is it good news, Mr. Wilson? Dennis, what would be the best possible news you could hear in the whole world? 
then I'm getting a two-wheeler. Are you getting me one? Oh, <laughs> well, no, no, it's not that. Uh, maybe this wish is uh, second best. Uh, you see these two circus tickets? Well, we're going to the circus. Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boys. We'll be pretty comfortable out here. Sure we will. Honey. <laughs> oh, Henry, that moose head looks so real, it startled me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you did a wonderful job of hanging him out here for the boys. Come on, Dennis. I'm filling the hot water bottle. Honey, do you really think he needs it? It's pretty warm out tonight. Oh, he wants it. Are you sure? He said so. Well, here I am. Oh, hold on. I want to see if it's hot enough. Oh, I'd have made it harder than that, but uh, I guess it's all right. Come on, Tommy! Right! <laughs> now, if you fellas want anything, you just sing out. We'll be right behind the fence at the Melton's. We won't want anything, will we, Tommy? Nah. <laughs> well, good night, boys. Good night, Mom. Good night. Good night, good night man. Good night. <laughs> You're going to have a wonderful time. Hey, Dennis. What are we going to do if we get thirsty? Hot root beer. <laughs> wow. Kids are fine. They're talking up a storm. <laughs> oh, I hope they get some sleep tonight. Oh, relax, honey. It's only quarter to nine. Tommy, a kid's got to think for himself. I just don't believe a cow could jump over it. You know, Martha, those old sleepless nights are gone forever. Not even nine o'clock. <laughs> and I'm going to sleep like a schoolboy. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll give Dennis and Tommy a thrill and do my owl imitation. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, come to bed, George. Wait a minute, Martha. <laughs> you know, I bet they think that's a real owl. Ooh. Ooh. You know what that was, Tommy? That was Mr. Wilson doing his owl imitation. He's pretty good at it. Yeah, that's because he heard owls and things all the time he was out camping. Animals, too? Sure, all kinds of them. I bet he was scared. Mr. Wilson? Heck no. He said they calmed his nerves. Now that he's back, he's going to miss them. What was that? Hey! It's Mr. Melton's hi-fi. He was going to play a train record for Mom and Dad. <laughs> Hmm? Do you hear that train? Yes. It's unusually loud tonight. Or else they're using that old spur track over in the park. It must be. It sounds as if it was right next door. It must be some rare atmospheric condition. Martha, I know why they're using the spur. That must be the circus train arriving in the park. <laughs> Good that sounded like a head-on collision. <laughs> Boy, did you ever hear anything more realistic? I should say not. It was wonderful. Now, can we play another rubber? Boy, that train wreck sure sounded swell. Well, how did you hear it? You got the speaker in the patio turned on. For oh, heaven's <laughs> sakes, Ted. I hope you didn't wake anybody up. Oh, don't be silly. Who'd be sleeping at this time? It's barely 9 o'clock. How about playing your wild animal record so it'll be like we're camping out in the jungle? All right, Dennis. And I'll bet your folks would enjoy hearing that one again, too. <laughs> oh, we'd love it. We can play bridge later. Come on, Tommy. Let's get back to camp. <laughs> It was a 
lion. Rick Scott, that was the circus train, and the lions are loose. <laughs> and the elephants are loose, too. Dennis and Tommy are out in the yard. I've got to get out there. I've got to, Martha. Those boys are in danger. I'll do what I can with my lodge sword. You call the police. <laughs> oh, good heavens. He forgot his glasses. <laughs> I'm going to save you from the lions. Boys, get back in your tent. <laughs> Mr. Wilson must be playing he's out in the wilderness, too. And please hurry. The lions and tigers are loose in the backyard. <laughs> So far, I haven't met any of the lions yet, but I just cut the head off a moose. <laughs> you boys all right? We're pretty scared. Uh -huh. Well, you stay where you are. Now, oh, there might be a lion behind any bush, Martha, so you stay right close to me. Here are your glasses, George. You come out to play too, Mrs. Wilson? Dennis, go back inside. Don't you understand the danger? Didn't you hear the animal roars? Sure I heard them. That's because Mr. Melton had the speaker in his patio turned on. What? Sure. They were on a record he was playing on his new hi-fi. Nonsense. What about that moose I decapitated? <laughs> he wasn't playing that on his hi-fi. George, huh? will you please put on your glasses? Well, I... <laughs> word of this to anybody. <laughs> George, you were only doing what you thought was right. It was a very brave thing to do, Mr. Wilson. Ah. Oh. Sure it was. You thought there were lions out there. Have the police left? Yes, dear. The reporters? Yes, dear. And that police psychiatrist? Yes, dear. You know what I heard him say, Mr. Wilson? He said you're as nutty as a fruitcake. <laughs> when did he say that? Right after I told him you do swell all imitations out of your bedroom window. And to think I dumped out all my nerve medicine. Oh, Martha, take me home. Put me to bed. Of course. Hey, Mr. Wilson, what time are we going to the circus tomorrow? Oh, that, 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 that's all. Just, just take me home. <laughs> 